Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the camera review of the Yumi Digi Crystal or Crystal Pro. Let's not waste any time and get right down to it. So the camera is a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel rear camera. And let me say this off the bat, the bokeh effect sucks, don't even use it. So two things first, you can enable DNG or raw capture which is nice, but in my opinion unnecessary on such a cheap phone. And the weird thing is that there is no option to enable HDR which is really strange. So let's start with the good part of the camera. So macro shots, also known as close up shots, are mostly good. Three things to mention here, first the camera can focus on things surprisingly close, think like 2-3 to three inches away from the phone. The second thing is a kind of a downside related to this, and it does have trouble focusing on small items that are close to the camera. And third, some photos come out super saturated, almost like Samsung cameras, not in the bad way, but it's pretty obviously oversaturated if that's not your thing. However, macro shots in general are good. However, there is one more weird thing I want to mention and that is the background has some really strange background noise patterns that are really distracting and it's more obvious the less complicated the background is. Let's talk about normal shots next. It captures moving targets relatively easily like my dog, but there are some times when it doesn't set the shutter speed properly and the moving shots come out blurry. The next thing we have to talk about is the lack of HDR. Most of the time, I would not care because HDR usually is bad on phones like these. But the problem is that many shots come out either washed out or too dark. However, when you do get the composition just right, pic turns out fairly decent. One more weird thing is that the camera has a tendency to make photos super blue and weird, which doesn't happen too often, but it does happen sometimes. Finally, low light is bad. The camera even struggles in medium light, and performance really struggles. The front camera here is not great either. Let's move on to video quality next. We have a max resolution of 1080p, and the video is average at best, and video is often noisy, especially when you dip into medium and low light situations. So conclusion, the camera quality and performance is not the best, and the price of the 4GB crystal which is around 140 rising to 170 on certain reseller sites, and at 140 the camera is not that great, and definitely not worth it at 170 bucks. However, there is still the rest of the phone to test out, so do stay tuned for the rest of the review, which I will be uploading soon, but let me know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.